Good morning, I'm Kimberly. Thank you for joining our morning prayers today on Monday the 28th of March. Today we'll be looking at Psalm 77 and today's scripture reading is taken from Exodus 2 verses 11 to 12. So let's begin. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let his glorious light shine upon us today. And now it's time for our prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of your sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving, help us to sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And now we move on to Psalm 77. I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. By night, my hand is stretched out and does not tire. My soul refuses comfort. I think upon God and I groan. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. My spirit searches for understanding. Will the Lord cast over us forever? Will he no more show us his favour? Has his loving mercy clean gone forever? Has his promise come to an end forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his compassion in displeasure? And I said, my grief is this that the right hand of the Most High has lost its strength. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of all time. I will meditate on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great as our God? You are the God who worked wonders and declared your power among the peoples. With a mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the ground. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the great waters, but your footsteps were not known. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. A wonderful psalm saying, in the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. And I think this is relevant to lots of us. When we are facing those days of trouble or worry, where our anxieties are high and nothing is clear in our mind. These days of trouble must be the days of prayer. When God seems to have withdrawn from us, we must seek him till we find him. In the day of his trouble, the psalmist did not speak of the diversion of business or amusement, but he sought God and his favour and grace. Those that are under trouble of mind must pray it away. We must not endeavour to get rid of our troubles in some other way, but must entreat him to remove it by allowing God's light to shine upon us. This, and only this, will give us peace of mind and put joy and gladness into our hearts. God, our shepherd, you led us and saved us in times of old. Do not forget your people in their troubles, but raise up your power to sustain the poor and helpless for the honour of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and forever. Amen. Now we move on to today's scripture reading taken from Exodus 2 verses 11 to 12. One day 
After Moses had grown up, he went out to his people and saw their forced labour. He saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his kinsfolk. He looked this way and that, and seeing no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. When he went out the next day, he saw two Hebrews fighting, and he said to the one who was in the wrong, Why do you strike your fellow Hebrew? he answered. Who made you a ruler and judge over us? Do you mean to kill as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses was afraid and thought, Surely the thing is known. When Pharaoh heard of it, he sought to kill Moses. But Moses fled from Pharaoh. He settled in the land of Midian and sat down by a well. The priest of Midian had seven daughters. They came to draw water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. But some shepherds came and drove them away. Moses got up and came to their defence and watered their flock. When they returned to their father, he said, How is it that you have come back so soon today? They said, An Egyptian helped us against the shepherds. He even drew water for us and watered the flock. He said to his daughters, Where is he? Why did you leave the man? Invite him to break bread. Moses agreed to stay with the man, and he gave Moses his daughter in marriage. She bore a son, and he named him Gerson. For he said, I have been an alien residing in a foreign land. Now I wonder how many of us felt just that. An alien in foreign land. I will leave you to ponder that thought as we move on to the Gospel Canticle. I'm going to say the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for his mighty saviour, born in the house of David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies and the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to Father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteousness in his sight for all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and forever. Amen. And now we move on to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we are good at disguising our troubles and anxieties, but our emotions are much more fragile than they appear. People we know, or we ourselves, are trying to manage fears about illness, personal debt, difficult relationships, war, conflict, and much more. Many people lack confidence in themselves and in their ability to cope. Many lives are crippled by low self-esteem and imposter syndrome. God of peace, we pray for ourselves and for others whom these anxieties are daily companions. Give them and us the deeper assurance that nothing can separate us from your love and that although we may be storm-tossed, we will not be overcome. Guide us to bring our troubles to you, clear our mind, and bring joy to our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for the people of Ukraine, for all those suffering or afraid, that you will be close to them and protect them. We pray for the world leaders for compassion, strength and wisdom to guide their choices. We pray for the world that in this moment of crisis we may reach out in solidarity to our brothers and sisters in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we raise before you those we know who love who are ill, sad or in need. We pray for all who care for them at home or in hospital. In a moment of silence, we bring before you all those in our hearts at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, with Mother's Day taking place yesterday, we pray for all the mothers, 
We recognise the demands of mothering, the provision of everything, the giving and the forgiving, the necessary and worrying, the perpetual chasing of all the endless clearing up. We pray for all the mothers that the well of generous loving may daily be refilled from the deep well of your endless love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we go out into the world today, help us to resist temptation, remembering that your son was once tempted by the world and the devil, but chose faithfulness over popularity, service above fame, and sacrifice instead of power. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and forever. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer we say together, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now our morning prayers have come to an end for today. Go in peace and let God's light shine on each and every one of you. Don't forget, in your days of trouble, reach out to God he is always listening. I look forward to joining you in morning prayer soon. Take care.